vožnja po snegu in ledu je praviloma precej zahtevna. A prav v takih vozniških okoliščinah se najhitreje in na najbolj jasen način pokaže, iz kakšnega testa je avto, ki ga vozimo. Vrsta pogona, komunikativnost volanskega mehanizma, način posredovanja moči, trdota vzmetenja ter delovanje elektronskih sistemov za stabilizacijo in nadziranje prenosa moči na kolesa so v mejnih voznih situacijah na velikem preizkusu. Vse na šteto pa so tudi ključne sestavine, iz katerih inženiri sestavijo oziroma vglasijo dinamične vozne lastnosti avta. Sejat se med tekmeci, še posebej pa v odnosu do Volkswagena in Škode, še posebej intenzivno usmerja prav v dinamične vozne lastnosti. Zato smo med tokratnim preizkusom njihovega štirikolesnega pogona govorili z vodnjem oddelka, ki določa, kako dinamično se bo peljal po same za seje. Sometimes we don't have the possibility to set up UV halves, for example, on the steering, just one setting. That's, we try to adapt that this combination works on every, on every place. And that the car do when the driver wants to do. It doesn't matter of a rear axle. It's uh, different or not because the driver don't feel a rear axle. What the driver can feel is the, the, the stability of the rear axle. What the driver can feel is the, the, sta, the, stabili, the stabilizator. You can have a car with a high stabilizator on the front. So what we try to do is just to set up the car in order to fulfill the requirements. And we have the possibility, so we have a lot of different parts that we can work with it or play with it if you like your work and just to fulfill these, these wishes. Some kind of, it's the same that we do on the carrosseries. So you have, have a more sporty car, you have, have a more traditional car. It's the same with the behavior of the car. So if you want to have a, what we try to do is uh, more on the sportivity, more on the emotional part. And then we do it not only on the carrosseri, on the body, also on the, on the dynamics. So in our cars, when you drive or when you're steering, what you try, what we measure is uh, how many seconds we try to to go to the, to the left, to go to the right, and that the car fulfill exactly in this in this place. If you want to do boring cars, we can do it. It's just tuning the steering, and then you steer, but the car reacts slowly, and you are just working with uh, basis parts, with shock absorbers, with the springs, with the stabilizators. But a lot of parts are common on the on, on the group. And with the small changes on the angles of the steering, the small changes on the white track, the small changes on the amateur of the wheel, there are some Always there are some small changes, but in a lot of parts, and the important is that all fit together just to have this new feeling. No, it's, the idea is not to, to do it harder, though. the idea is not to do it harder, so just to do it comfortable, but that the cars react exactly what we want. So if we just do harder, that was old fashioned, let me to say that you drive like this. This is not the idea. The idea is mainly that we have a lot of work on the steering. On the steering we have a lot of features because electro, due to the electronics that we can improve. And the idea is not just to go further, just to go with not so much balance. And then we can play with the roll center, then we can play with the springs, we can play a little bit with the shopper shopper, but the idea is not to do it harder, it's just to do it uh, sportive. Na zasneženih avstrijskih travnikih pa smo se imeli priložnost pogovarjati z špansko legendo Dirkanjem Žordijem, ki je pa bistveno več kot samo Dirkač in je kakšen šepetalec konjo. Tehnikom v tovarni je zelo natančno razložiti, kaj je treba narediti z avtom, kako ga nastaviti, da avto postane resnično španski dinamični temperamenten izstrelek. Žordij, first few driving technique, basic things. Normally drivers, when they want to drive dynamically, uh, tend to do a mistake, which is that tend to go into the corner too quick. When you get into the corner too quick, the inertia that the car has makes you really difficult to turn, difficult to steer, and difficult to keep the right line. It's very important to brake enough in order to have control when you steer, because the most important part of the corner is braking and turn for the first part. If you do that correctly, the rest you can be very fast and very safe. But if you do that not correctly, if you do a mistake in this part, the rest of the, of the corner is more dangerous and for sure slower as well. 